another coupe SUV, guys, you know. But this is the Volkswagen Tygo, which we waited a while for. People were always like, oh my God, what's that new one with the one with the T? I'm like, okay, there's T-Cross, there's T-Rock, there's Touareg, there's Tiguan, there's, they all got a T, man. But this is the Tygo. Um, sits between the T-Cross and the T-Rock. Small gap there. Very, very, very small gap there. <laughs> So guys, it is more for the design customer. You know, the person who's sort of like, ah, I don't like the bl bland mundane T-Cross, which I think is lovely, beautiful looking anyways. I want something sort of cool and stand out-ish and sleek and, and, um, but I can't afford a T-Rock. So I'm gonna get the Tygo. I must say, I feel like I'm driving a Polo really. Like I could be driving a T-Cross, but it's sort of, it's lower and narrower than a T-Cross, but longer. But it does sort of, I can feel the lowerness, if you will. So it's sort of like if you just want to sit a little bit up from a polo. But it's all very familiar in here, you know? I mean, look, the platform's based, it's based on the same platform as a polo, T-Cross, T-Rock, or whatever. So all very refined, very comfortable, very Volkswagen, do you know? I literally have had to close, well, maybe don't close your eyes when you're driving. <laughs> But if you were to close your eyes while driving, you could be like, oh, kind of in a polo vibe. And if you open your eyes as well, okay? So that point kind of is null and void, isn't it? Anyway, um, so it comes in a array of colors, um, which is very cool, like very different, unique sort of colors, okay? Um, okay, just go past me, mister, because I don't feel like someone driving up my asshole. Oh, it's a pleasure. Don't you like it when someone does that? The little blink blinkies, you know, warm fuzzy operators. Oh, it makes you feel so nice, you know. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, just cruising. I was scared. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Um, so also you've got the <coughs> entry level uh, life, uh, which comes in at like 430,000. Uh, then you've got the star, and then you've got this, which is the top of the range, R-Line, obviously, which looks the best. That's coming in at around 486,000, okay? There's a lot of optional extras that you can get, obviously, with Volkswagen. Um, this has got a load of them, okay? Even though it's the top spec, so you're going over 500, okay, now, essentially, because you've got a wireless charger, you have a sunroof, you've got heated seats, uh, it's also got a comfort package, which gives you keyless entry, reverse camera, park assist. Then it's got the IQ drive, which is like sort of driver assist technologies, like lane keeping assist and adaptive cruise control and all that vibe, okay? So it does have a load of spec in here. Um, I don't know if you need all of that. Obviously, I say that. I mean, I love all the specs. So, but if you can't afford to stretch it to that, then what's the point? Like, then just go with the sort of style and maybe if you have to add in a few little things. This has got digital cockpit. It's got the eight-inch touchscreen um, infotainment system. Yeah, it just all looks really nice in here. The oh, engine is a one-liter three-cylinder turbo petrol. You get 85 kilowatts of power and 200 newton meters of torque mated to this beautiful seven-speed dual clutch transmission and I think it's just so hard to fault VW on because it's a very spirited engine everything works beautifully together the um, gearbox or the transmission is just wonderful like everything doesn't piss me off it's sort of beautiful to cruise on a highway but also amazing around town as well um, so I just think they've got that so right do you know kind of like Audi obviously as well just feels nice. See, there we go. See, spirited. Let's go. Brrr. Yo, lovely. No pee. The only problem, yeah, is the fuel consumption. So I'm sitting now at 8.9 liters. I've managed to get it down. They claim 5.4. Um, you can get it down, but you've got to drive really sort of mindfully, which I don't do. Okay, that's why my fuel consumption is high. <laughs> Um, so that sucks a bit. You'd like that to be a little bit lower. But like I say, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Hey, where's that from? It is a movie, right? You can do it. You can do it. Anyways. Sounds like Adam Sandler vibes. Hey? That guy with him. Anyway. So much distraction today. 
But regardless, guys, I think that this car is fabulous for what it is. I don't know whether to say to you, like, get this over a T-Cross or whatever. It's going to be your decision at the end of the day here because from a practical point of view, it's still sort of practical. I've had Luca in the seat. I've had a passenger. A little less legroom, obviously, but same in the T-Cross. Um, the boot's at 440 liters, which is ever so slightly smaller than the T-Cross, um, but still sort of okay, still decent. Um, I think it's going to come down to whether you want to be like a cool person or not. And if you're in a T-Cross, you're still a cool person. So for me, like, I would probably get a T-Cross because it suits my family needs more. Um, it would suit my budget more. Even though I still couldn't afford it because I'm like a poor journalist. Um, but I think, yeah, because I love the T-Rock so much. And this is like, for me, like a mini T-Rock. So I would love to get it, but it just, yeah. If you get any three of them, I think you'd be happy. That's the bottom line. Happiness when you're driving it. So I think Volkswagen is another sterling job on this product. I love it. There's nothing I hate. I just hate that it's so expensive. But cars are expensive. And I just hate that there's so many optional extras that make it more expensive. Because you end up spending more than a half a million rand on a car that's not a lot of car for what you get, you know, for what you're paying. But that's actually a problem. It's got nothing to do with the VW. It's got nothing to do with the Tiger. It's got to do with all cars at the moment. But that's a day, I mean, that's a talk for another day. Baby, down to the river.